Hello there and welcome to Linux S2 and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and set up Genymotion in your Linux computer. So Genymotion is an application that allows you to run Android devices or I would like to say Android virtual devices in your Linux distribution and uh, this way you can use any Android application in these devices. They are basically just like your regular Android device but uh, they are in a virtual form that means you are using these devices or particular device in your computer so you can run any Android Android application or you can use it for testing purposes as well. So before getting into the installation, Jenny Motion uses VirtualBox at the back end. You need to have VirtualBox pre-installed in your computer. So I've already installed VirtualBox in my computer. So this is the VirtualBox. So if you don't have this application, just install it by using your software center. In your software center, just search for VirtualBox and install the application or you can also check out the guide. So I have added a guide link in the description which you can use to set up VirtualBox properly in your Linux distribution and it doesn't matter which distribution you are using, it is a universal guide. So after having VirtualBox installed in your computer, just follow along. So first of all, you want to head on to Genymotion's official website. So just search for Genymotion in the browser. So this is Genymotion.com. Click on the website. Here we first need to create a Genymotion account because this account is mandatory to download the package file and to use Genymotion in your computer. So just uh, go here and then here and fill in these details and create the account so i have already created the account so i'm just going to sign in so after signing in just click on this download jenny motion i will link this in the description as well so here it will automatically detect your system and you can click this now download for linux and it will start to download the file so here it is the file so the file is downloaded now so just go here and here is the file that is jenny motion dot bin so this is a win file which we need to install so first we need to make it an executable file so for that you can simply right click go to properties and go to permissions then allow it for execute permission so just click on this button here and uh, a permission will be added here and if you don't want to do from this way then you can simply right click and open the terminal or you can simply open the terminal anywhere and set it to the folder where you have downloaded the epic this dot uh, win file so here is this file that we need to make executable so for that you can use ch mode and plus sign then x for executable and the file name that is jenny motion and hit enter and if i run ls again so it's kind of green now so that means it is an executable file ch mode is a command that you can use to modify the permissions of any folder or file so plus means we are adding a permission x for executable r is for read permission and w for write and similarly you can use minus to remove the permission so we have made the file as executable so we need to run the file now to run the file just type dot and slash and the file name that is any motion hit enter so it is asking me whether i want to install the application to this current directory or i may want to install it to an another directory so if you want to install this application in your home directory you can add the parameter of d and specify the location so for that you can type again dot slash and there's any motion then dash d is for directory and specify directory where you want to install for example home and your username so my username is takshak sh but you can type your username here so i'm going to just quickly type takshak sh and hit enter it will again ask me whether i want to install this in my home directory or not so i'm going to say yes now it is basically extracting the files and installing so it will also check for virtual box here you can see i have already installed virtual box this is why i passed it and installed the jenny motion so it is done now now just go to your menu for applications and search for Jenny Motion, and you will get this pink round icon with two white circles in it click on it and here we have the Jenny Motion. here we have the Jenny Motion. so as i said we need those credentials in order to use the application so just type the username that you have created earlier and the password and click on next it is asking for whether you want to use it for personal and or as in commercial for professional use so just click on personal use and hit next accept the agreement and click on next and here we are now we need to create a virtual device in order to run it 
so i'm just going to download a device here so i'm going with this custom android so just click on install here it is asking for or it is showing the default settings so if you want to change the settings you can modify here like the screen size and android version processor and ram so i'm going to reduce the ram size to 1000 just click on install and it, it will start to download the file just wait for a few minutes and it will be downloaded in your computer so the virtual device is created so just double click on this and it will start this is taking some time because i'm running this jenny motion inside and virtual machine so there is my base operating system then this elementary as virtual os then this jenny motion as virtual os so it's like uh, that inception movie dream inside dream then inside dream so i'm just going to cancel this because i already have a base operating system and uh, there i have already set up the jenny motion so it is taking some time because the ram and processor count is low in this computer so i'm just going to minimize this virtual machine and uh, here is my jenny motion and this compute this my base os so i have created already these two devices so i'm just going to start this one you can choose from different devices available so the device is booting up now so here is the android device you can use it the way you want and if you want to install any application here just uh, drag and drop the apk file and the application will get installed and if you are getting any error like uh, arm architecture error or something like that then you can install the arm translation for the cpu or for this virtual machine so for that just uh, search online jenny motion arm translation and it will give you a github link so just go here and uh, download the translation for different versions this one is 4.4 so i'm going with this one just uh, click download button this will download the translation for arm save the file simply drag and drop this gif file onto the virtual device and it will start to install just click ok and it is flashed successfully just hit ok again and restart the device and if you want to install play store in the in this device then you can simply click the button here so i've already installed play store the google apps basically that's why i have play store here just click on this button and you will get a option for downloading the google apps and uh, it will download the google apps for you for demonstration i'm going to start this device because I have not set up the Google apps in this one. So you will get a screen like that just click here on open g apps and it will ask for the term and conditions just click accept and it will start to download the google apps and it will install in your in your virtual device then you can simply log in your gmail account and start using google play in this virtual device so this was it in this video i hope you liked it and if you did then please hit subscribe and uh, share this video on your social if you can and i'll see you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux and if you have any any question regarding this just ask me in the comment section below i'll surely help you out okay bye for now